Hello and welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onen de Guzman. Our topic for today is adding and subtracting radicals. So after going through this tutorial video, you are expected to add and subtract radicals. Specifically, you will simplify each radical. And number two, to add or subtract radicals, the indices and what is inside the radical called the radicand must be exactly the same. If the indices and radicands are the same, then add or subtract the terms in front of each like radical. If the indices or radicals are not the same, then you cannot add or subtract the radicals or simply copy the radicand. Let's have problem number one. Simplify square root of 98 plus square root of 50 minus square root of 18. So the first thing that we will do is simplify each radical. Meaning to say that the square root of 98 plus square root of 50 minus 18 can be simplified as look for the factors of 98 that has a perfect square number. So we have 98 times 2. Okay? While for 50, we have 25 times 2. While for 18 is 9 times 2. Then extract the root of 49. So that is 7 and leave 2 as a radical. Then we have 5 square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 2. Then we will use the PEMDAS rule. So we perform the operations right to left. So we have 7 plus 5 minus 3. So that is we simply add or subtract the radicals. So we have 9 square root of 2. Let's move on to problem number 2. Simplify 3 square root of 20 minus 6 square root of 125 plus 10 square root of 45. Again, so we need to simplify each term. Okay, let's copy first. So we have 3 square root of 20 minus 6 square root of 125 plus 10 square root of 45. So again, look for the factors of 20 that has a perfect root. So we have 4 and 5. While for 125 are 25 times 5 and 45, the factors are 9 and 5. And take the root of 4, 25, and 9 respectively. So we have 3 times square root of 5 minus 6, 5 square root of 5 plus 10 times 3 square root of 5. Simplify. Okay, but before we will add or subtract the radicals, we simplify first. So we have 3 times 2 is 6 square root of 5 minus 30 plus 30 square root of 5. So again, so we factored out negative 30 square root of 5 and positive 30 square root of 5. So therefore, the final answer is 6 square root of 5. Let us move to the next example. So we have simplified 3x times the cube root of 24x plus 7x times the cube root of 81x to the fourth power. So again, so we will simplify each other. So let's write the given first. So take note that 24 can be expressed as 8 times 3, while 81 can be expressed as 21 or 27 times 3. Then we have x to the fourth power can be rewritten as x cubed times x so that I can extract the roots of 27 or cube roots of 27 and x cubed as well as the cube root of 8. So simplifying it further, so we have 3x times the cube root of 8 is 2, then times the cube root of 3x plus 7 times the cube root of 27 is 3, while the cube root of x cubed is x. Simplifying it further, so again, so we have here 6x because we have 3x times 2 is equal to 6x, then we have 7 times 3x is 21. So we have 6x times cube root of 3x plus 21x cube root of 3x. Then we can combine or we can add or subtract the radicals. So we have 6 plus 21 is 27x times cube root of 3x. Let's move on to problem number 5. So we have simplified 7 square root of 112 plus 4 times cube root of 54 plus 10 
square root of 252 minus 7 times cube root of 16. So I will rewrite first the given such that I have here 7 square root of 12 plus 4 cube root of 54 plus 10 square root of 252 minus 7 cube root of 16. So I'll simplify each radical. So the factors of 112 are actually 16 and 7, while the factors of 54 are 27 and 2 because I want to extract the cube root of 27. Then for 252, so the factors are 36 times 7, and the factors of 16 are 8 times 2. So notice that this is 27, so I can extract the root of, of cube root of 27 as well as cube root of 8. While here, 16 and 36, I'll extract the square root. Simplifying it further, so I have the square root of 16 is equal to 4. The cube root of 27 is 3, while the square root of 36 is equal to 6. And the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. So again, multiply the outer numbers of the radical. So we have 28 square root of 7 plus 12 cube root of 2 plus 60 square root of 7 minus 14 cube root of 2. Now take note that, okay, 28 square root of 7 as well as 60 square root of 7 are similar terms. While 12 cube root of 2 minus 14 cube root of 2 are similar terms. So therefore, I have I will add or subtract the radicals, meaning to say I have 28 plus 60 is equal to 88 square root of 7. Okay, 12 minus 14 is negative 2, then copy cube root of 2. Let's move on to problem number 5. Simplify 2x squared times the square root of 18xy cubed plus 4y square root of 8x to the fifth power y minus 3 times the square root of 75x cubed y squared. So the very first thing is we simplify each radical. So let's copy first the given. So again, so 18 can be factored as 9 times 2, while y cubed can be factored as y squared times y because we want to extract the root or the square root of these terms. Well, okay, 8 can be factored as 4 times 2, x to the p power can be factored as x to the 4 power times x and y. While 75 can be factored as 25 times 3, then we have x cubed can be factored as x squared times x, then we have y squared. Now, we will extract the perfect root from each okay, radical. So, we have okay, 2x squared times 3xy okay, times 2x squared y plus 4y times the roots here or the perfect root of 4 and actually x to the fourth power. So we have 2x squared times 2xy. While here is negative 3 times 5xy, then times the square root of 3x. Simplifying it further, we have okay 2x squared times 3y. So we have 6x squared y times 2xy plus we have 8 x squared y square root of 2xy minus 15xy square root of 3. However, I can combine these terms x squared y times the square root of 2xy plus 8x squared y times square root of 2xy. So we have 14x squared y times the square root of 2xy. And the simply copy negative 15xy square root of 3x. So again, this is the process of adding and subtracting radicals. Again, so what you're going to do is simplify each radical. And number two is add or subtract the radicals. So again, this is Teacher on the Guzman. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you and good day.